Hey guys, it's Steve. I just want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. I passed up uh, 600, which I'm very proud of. I know <laughs> compared to the big guys, I'm still really small. I took a little hiatus because I had to go into the office for my regular job this week. I'd be, I had been working from home. A fr the guy covering the office went on vacation, so I had to go in. I'll be at home the next week, so I'll be able to make my videos at lunchtime again. I'm always following the market, but I just can't take the time to make a video when I'm in the office. Um, if this channel grows a whole lot and I actually start to make some money from the channel, that'll change. But for now, this is kind of a hobby, me sharing you guys what a smaller investor is doing on the Binance Smart Chain, in the WAX environment, the crypto games I'm playing that I'm earning rewards on, like uh, Splinterlands, um, the uh, Gala Games games. And uh, I'm also playing a few on the Wax blockchain. I'm going to do a few more videos about those soon. The Binance Smart Chain DeFi world is getting to the point where I think the cream has rose to the top. You're seeing a lot of copycats. And if you want to chase those, you can make a little bit of money. But if you don't get out quick enough, you're going to lose money. There's the Hourglass game I tried out that I ended up losing some money in, but not a lot. So it was really just an experiment. And uh, I'll just kind of show you where my investments are at currently on the Binance Smart Chain, what I'm looking to get into more and just you know i'm having a lot of fun in the DeFi world over there and i'm hoping i, I know a lot of people say it's centralized but it's the only place where someone like me with seven thousand dollars that i'm playing with on the chain which is a decent amount of money but can go because i can move it around i can stake it i can jump from platform to platform until i find the right ones and then when i find a really good one i can just stay there which i i think i found a great one to just stay with for a while and make some money and um I'm also just kind of paying attention to some of the other stuff that's going on, on on a few other ones. So we'll get into this and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll try to go kind of quick so we're, we're um, not here for too, too long. But this is a, just kind of a quick look at some of the different coins I'm invested in right now in the Binance Smart Chain. Um, I put Super Farm just on here. I actually could maybe remove this. Uh, I meant to take it off, but I forgot for the video. They're on Binance Smart Chain now. They're in the NFT world. They're going to launch a project where basically you can stake Super Farm tokens and you can earn NFTs. The interesting thing about this, if you're someone on Binance Smart Chain, is Super Farm is also on Ethereum. So theoretically, you could buy the tokens on Binance Smart Chain, stake them on their platform earn the NFTs and then sell the NFTs on the Ethereum market where some of the super farm NFTs are worth a lot more. So that, that's kind of why this is here, just a quick little mention. Okay, so obviously Binance coin, we all need a stack of this. So it's important to just see how it's going, especially because if you're playing in the Binance coin pools, you, impermanent loss can be like a bummer. And so you don't want to necessarily deal with the fact that you're going to have, you know, have a coin that maybe just stays still when Binance rockets and then you lose money because you were in that pool and you end up with a lot of the other token and you're like ugh, and permanent loss just kicked my butt and ate up all my profit out of a project that's also why i kind of share changed my strategy right now to one that i thought had a better uh better rewards and less chance of impermanent loss and so uh i have goose goose has been my golden egg i got into goose at 20 dollars. i wrote it up to 130 i was taking profits all the way it fell back down to 40 they finally launched their layer farming and now they're back up to 95 it, it was a great mechanism and a really cool thing and i'll explain layer farming to you the best i can i put the a crypto site on here because really uh, when I decided to get out of the BNB dot pool that I was on on Pancake Swap and just split that up to staking dot on Goose, I needed to stake my BNB somewhere. I didn't want to put it on Auto Farm because I don't really want to put all my eggs in one basket. And so spreading out my stakes of Pancake, the Pancake tokens I have, the um, the Goose Finance stuff, it, 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 like I kind of spread it out my staking across basically Goose, A Cryptos, and Auto Farm at this point. I also was in Value DeFi, so I have that token on the bottom. Uh, kind of an interesting thing, I think this token, since it's on Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain, there's an arbitrage chance right now, or I don't know what's going on here because see the price here is uh, almost $4,000. The price here on their site is only $2,000, so I don't, I don't understand. Maybe there's just a little bit of a lag because this is a project that's a smaller project. It has fall. It, it launched at five. It made it up to like fourteen thousand, and now it's way down to two thousand over here on Binance Smart Chain. 
I did a good job with uh, this one. I got in early to the uh, this one here and I wrote it when it was making like crazy percentages and I took out all my profit and now I just have a little bit of money on there that I was just letting grow in case this was a big one. I moved that money into this pool now. See, just it's just 92 bucks. I got caught up. They had an issue recently that if you know much about this project and you thought you want to get into it, the reason their price is down is they had some mistake on this 50-50 pool. They issued too many rewards and so like I have like $30 on, I only was only staking like $90 after pulling out all my profit and, and, and my initial investments. So they only, uh, somehow I had, I had made $30 on a $90 stake. Um, and so they had some kind of issue where they were minting too many. So they've locked up that claim. Anybody that was in this pool cannot claim those rewards. They're figuring out what happened and they're going to airdrop what you should really get or allow you to claim it later. And basically this pool is blocked from claiming. So everybody's supposed to move from this pool to this new pool that they've created that's paying out at 2000%. Um, where there's more rewards, but the rewards are locked up for seven days. So like, I'm not going to be able to claim anything from this pool for seven days. That's kind of an interesting thing to see if that helps the token go up in value. It's just taking a quick look at value DeFi. Um, the, the, you know, the site is, it's not a bad site. It has some really good farms with some really good percentages. It has these safes that are very, very interesting. This, this BUSD one, I mean, this is the craziest thing that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this this APY is at some number that makes no sense. I don't know if this is a glitch because of something that's going on on their BUSD farm, but they are paying you out at like 1.3%. And then I like that when you click into here, you can see how they're doing it. So basically they're doing some alpaca farming and some and some B and some of the B earn, which is another side out there farming. And they've broken up this money in the pool into these two strategies. And so you can come and check out these sites and see if any of these are interesting to you. Like you can put your cake in here and they're basically gonna do auto farm, um, use the auto farm pool and farm cake on the cake site. And so they break up your, your money into two different strategies to try to earn you more. And they give you an overall APR um, uh, return that they explain up here. So this is growing at, you know, 0.4% a day. Um, it, the, the safes don't earn their token. That's only the farms and the farms have some, you know, really competitive APRs, but they're not the highest you're going to see in the game right now. And I have no idea what's going to happen with the value token. It could go up. It could go down. Anytime a site has a glitch and a, and a code has a glitch. And now there's when I first got here, I was so confused. I couldn't I couldn't harvest anything. This was grayed out. I had this $30 reward here. And when I went over to the farms, I couldn't find my tokens in the farm. And I, their support worked really well with me, though. I will give them a shout out that their Discord support took the time to go through my tickets with me, go through my thing, help me figure out what I did. And so that was pretty cool. Um, now, just taking a quick look over here at the A Crypto site, this is where I decided to just park my BNB that I pulled out of the BNB dot pool that I was on a pancake swap. And so I put this here. I decided to put it on A Cryptos because it's got a really competitive APR of 41% growth. And they do that basically by taking the BNB and they stake it in the Venus pool. And they also, if you, if you, then they give you some tokens and you can stake those tokens into the ACS pool and you can earn the ACS. The thing about this pool though is they have a penalty for withdrawing your fees of point, um, 0.5% um, of your stack. So you have to be willing to leave this here for a while. Um, as you can see, I still have one BNB in my wallet that I'll show you why I, this is here is for me to play with. So like if I want to get into a new project, this is all I'm playing with at this point. Uh, I'm staking this much here because I just haven't seen a project that is I, I wanted to put a, a lot of money into um, here because I already have uh, my big stuck uh, amounts of money over here in Goose. So what I did on what I'm doing on Goose is I'm farming from two pools. I'm earning around half an egg a day. The eggs are going up in value to like $99. And then I'm taking the, the, the profits and I'm putting them into auto farm. So over here on auto farm, 
I'm able to put them into this egg BUSD. So pretty much I do a claim of the egg tokens. I sell half of them and then I stake them in here and it's doing pretty well. I've been able to, you know, put together $500 profit into here with myself only staking in two farms over here now. And I'm in, if I go into my stake, so I took my DOT tokens, I'm up to 69 of them. I put all of them into here. I paid the 4% deposit fee and I, I'm staking here with a pretty good return on a, on a single asset that as long as they don't rug pull me or get hacked, I'm not gonna lose any more money and I'm just gonna farm, dot, farm the egg tokens. And then in the farms, I'm in the stable, stable uh, die BUSD one that's paying at 300%. Now, see, this is something where I could I could pull out of this and put it into a, to a new stable stable, but because of the four percent fee, I can't come back to it as easy without without paying some money out. So this is kind of just where I I have this money sitting right now. It's a decent amount of money, and I'm just letting it earn the egg tokens because they're doing really innovative things here. I'm hoping they get their their first uh, IFO soon. Right now, if you click here, you just get an offer to apply to be on their IFO. So just know that if you're checking out the site, they should probably change that not to automatically go there. But they uh, they they launched their layer farming. So their layer farming is kind of interesting. It's basically every week they're gonna they're gonna start a new pool where you can only. Um, take part in it for one week the idea is instead of you chasing copycats like nut finance or meek or coral or any of these other ones out there that are pretty much copying goose goose will give you a new farm that you can play with and that you can only get into with the egg token so it's giving more utility and gamification to their original token that they're farming on their site while giving you that chance to earn really crazy aprs and so that's that has to do here with the uh, with the incubators so seeing these incubators when they launch them and i i unfortunately was at work so i didn't get to take part in this but you can they have a special one where they guarantee a very very high apr but it has a huge burn fee to get into and the max that can be staked here is is 50,000 eggs so only the first 50,000 people 50,000 eggs to be put in here plus a 20% that are burned get into this this pool to earn this new token the gg1 token and it's a golden goose one and the next one will just be the golden goose two and then they provide liquidity to this gg1 token from the fees that are earned on the this platform for when they um for when they do the farms because see they have the deposit fees to get into the farms to earn this token right so they've already said that of the deposit fees, some of it is used to buy back the original token and burn, but the team keeps a chunk of it to use to invest into the platform and do new things. And so what they're one of the things they're doing is this layer farming. And so it's really pretty exciting because you get basically a whole new goose site that is set up that I could move to if I wanted to, but this site only lives for a week. So it's, it's like a play on... You know, you want to chase great returns, come in here and check out these crazy APRs that we have for you to earn this new token we created. And then the new token, uh, they they have a liquidity pool for it in the very beginning. And then just like any other place, they, they reward people for staking into the liquidity pool. It's going to be very interesting to see how things go when they, when they launch layer two. Um, I need to verify if this goes away or if another layer just starts. I think another layer just might start. So we're gonna have this gamification on this site. If you should stay in the layer two pools, you should stay in the layer one pool, layer three, four pools going forward, or should you just be in the original, um, the original farms? Or should you be over here in one of these layers where you can make these crazy returns with your eggs? I, you know, I have to decide to myself where I want to play this, but it makes me really, really hopeful that the egg token is going to, is going to, you know, hold value because people are going to want to play in these things and get these awesome returns. And it's really cool to see a team launch, taking some of the profit that they're making and basically providing an initial uh, liquidity for this new token 
so that people can buy and sell it when it first comes out and then they then the whole community just starts playing with this new token and so there's some winners there's some losers obviously as the value of this new token goes up and up up and down up and down i do think that they need to um add in something here so you can track this gg1 token because it's going to come out and it's just going to go wild in price um and it's just i don't even know what it, what is a gg1 worth let me see if i can check <laughs> um gg yeah gg1 and let's do uh usd and if I wanted to buy one G, yeah, $255. So that token is worth quite a lot of money. Um, I, I don't know why it switched it to dark, from dark mode to light mode. That was kind of weird on the exchange. Um, so, you know, this this is just an actually a pretty wild farm here. Um, people are earning really crazy returns. They're having a whole lot of fun over here on Goose, I'm sure. So if you're not here on Goose, it's something to look into. You might think you're late, but uh, I don't know. It, it's just such a cool site that I think people are missing out on it. They've, they've got some really cool gamification and they're working on getting a lottery going to do a more burn mechanisms the way that Cake is doing. And they're looking to get their first tokens that want to launch on their platform and do an initial farm offering on their platform. So if you're a platform out there looking for, you know, maybe to stand out and not have to compete against all the different tokens that have launched on Cake, this might be a place to look. All right, let's see. What else did we want to talk about here? Okay, we already took a look at auto. We took a look at value DeFi. We took a quick look at A cryptos. Basically, the reason why I, I put some money here on A cryptos and I didn't just go into the BNB farm here, because um, see, they have a BNB farm here that earns 38%. Well, one thing is the A crypto one is just a little bit more, but now the way that they pay you this extra APR is basically they reward you in the other token. So see, I'm earning ACS here and over in farm, I'm earning a tiny bit of auto token on auto farm. And it just gives me a chance to kind of earn two different tokens. So if auto farm goes way down, I'm not losing all of my chance of earning extra rewards because that token drops in value a ton. And like I said, I just don't know what else do you, does anybody tell me what else you do with the auto farm token? Because I don't know. All I see is this. And given that that's a nice APY, but as more and more people get into this, this is just going to go down. And 231%, it, it's, it's okay, but it's just not super special. The ACS token, they have two pools that you can put it into. And then they've gamified their site a little bit more because there's those fees when you unstake and the fees are paid out to people in the ACS pool so that they get more rewards. That's why these pools are so big. So that, that's a really cool thing. And if you guys want me to go in depth on any of these, please let me know and I'll do an in-depth video. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about uh, chasing and one of the other strategies and, and a new site that it just came out. So this is the new site that just came out, Iron Finance. We'll talk about them last. First, I'm going to show you what I meant by a goose copycat. So this is Nut Finance. This came out just a few days ago. I got into it. I actually uh, did make money on this site, but I, I decided to roll the dice and try to make a little bit more. And now I'm not going to make any more because the token is only worth 13 cents. So basically what I did with this site is when it first launched, I came in, the token was $8. I bought two of them for 16 bucks because I didn't want to mess around. But if you're someone with more funding or want to be more dangerous, this could still work for you. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just going to tell you what I did and how it worked. I bought two tokens. I went to their farm. I put the two tokens in this pool right here. This percentage was really crazy. Over just a couple hours, I earned two tokens. I was able to sell both of those tokens for nine dollars. So now my now I'm only risking what is inside here. I, I went ahead and farmed myself about one and a half more tokens. The price started to drop down to five dollars. So I went ahead and unstaked everything here. Um, I had had some impermanent loss, so I ended up with more of the nut tokens, but I was able to sell enough of them 
to get back all of the BNB I had put in plus a little bit of profit. And I had three tokens left at $5, just 15 bucks. But I decided to go ahead and just stake those three tokens into their into the nuts nest to see if the team could pull off anything and do anything it was just like a moon bag hey see if you guys can figure it out see if you can make this token better as you can see i, I had about three and a half tokens left so um i it didn't work they they did not it's down to 13 cents so this isn't even with the cheap fees on binance i'm not even going to claim or compound or do anything on this uh site unless they decide unless they do something to get some something going on um i'm guessing this is kind of a dead project because they haven't tweeted in a few days this was march 2nd and it's march 6th they haven't done any buybacks like they're supposed to. They their their little gimmick here was really just a copy, but actually it looks like it was a straight copy of Goose, just with the four percent fee to give them money. There's still you know a little bit of money in some of these pools, <laughs> a very tiny bit. If I, this hasn't been marked as a rug yet, so you know it's just one that came out and it fell apart. This one right here was marked as a rug on Meek, and I, I think that site is gone, so I think they're right. But you're going to see that a lot of these are going to come out. So see, like Coral. Coral just came out, and their token was at $5, and now it's at $4. Um, if, you, if you're really watching the yield farm, you can come here, and you can do the same kind of thing where you buy the token, and then you use that token to earn more of the token, and then you sell them. And if you're quick, you get a moon bag, and you hope that the token works out something and does something great. Though, you might want to look for a token where the, the, the team seems like they have an idea, a, a roadmap. They have something going on. Let's see, Coral has a roadmap. Um, they want to do some partnerships, audits. They want to do vaults. Oh, they want to do NFT gamification. So this, I don't know, this is an interesting one. I'm not invested in it, but if you want to, you know, check out the BSC, you just go here, you go to the yield farm list, and maybe Coral Finance would, would catch your eye. Um, but that's how that's how I, I played this, and, and it worked out to where I got myself a little stack of three tokens that I could just, in theory, if these tokens would have stayed at 5 or $10, or somewhere between 5 and $8, then I would have just kept... Um, compounding the earnings until this stack got big and then I sold it but this one was a loser so sorry nut I don't know what happened to you this one was also a loser I figured out that uh, these kind of games are called a hourglass game and really you cannot play in them unless you buy in early and you buy in at the highest tier now I got in kind of early but I got in on this tier where basically the way they do it is this guy earns rewards at 1x, this one at 8x, and this one at 20x. These x's will vary, and your options of guys to buy, if you see these, there was a Dragon Ball one, a Yoshi one, it's a, there's a couple other ones out there in the world, and they usually have a referral program, unlike some of the more regular uh, liquidity farms uh, that are trying to be DEXs. But, you know, there's Pancake Swap, there's Bakery Swap, in my opinion, there's Goose Finance, which is a pretty legitimate site. There's there's a couple other ones like the Auto Farm Value D. There's a lot of DEXs on the, and a lot of them just use Pancake on the back end. But it's a pretty crowded space. So we're going to see more games like this show up. But since I didn't go in here, I have a big old stack of 45,000 ricks, but they're only worth 0 0.002. So I put in 0.5. I, I did in the first couple days sell about um i sold these guys back to get about back about 0.25 so i got back half of my investment but now the contracts died um there's only seven bnb in here there's there's not really transfers of bnb coming in i mean these are some extremely small ones all these zeros are people taking it out it's kind of a confusing thing if you don't know what you're doing, but if you look in the ticket transaction, it'll explain that the person was sending in a request to take out their BNB. So that so it kind of tricks you if you're not paying attention. And the only way that you can see if anybody deposited it is if there's a transaction like this where it actually shows somebody coming in. Um, so the basic idea of this site would be, and I won't link this one again because this this is game is dead at this point to me 
is that you put your one in here, you're earning yours at 20 times value and then more people come in behind you and you're able to earn enough money to get your money back. And then once you've got your money back, if the pool is still alive and still going, you can just keep taking money from that pool and you'll be, you'll be earning it and claiming it. They do have a little gamification where the more money that's in the pool, the more money you're, the more money these guys are worth that I'm earning. So, um, the these guys, the martars. So basically, you can always turn them into martars, but you can sell them for BNB. But it, how much they're worth is based on how much BNB is in the pool. So right now, basically, I'll never get my money back. I'll never get back the two five because. I'm just not going to earn enough of them. And so there's somebody out there that's earning a lot more. You know, so just for fun, I could click this. Oh, but then I got to pay a transaction fee too. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> right? I got burned by this. It's an hourglass game. Don't, I would say stay away from these unless you just are somebody with a lot of BNB that wants to try to win some. But only buy in if you buy in here. And to be honest, you probably got to be on the site when the contract goes live within the first couple hours. And then you have to put in at least one, if not maybe two or three BNB. But then you're risking a lot and hoping that more people come to the site afterwards. Because even if people, even if you got in early, if no one else comes, then the only way you're getting your money back is if you're the guy who put in the most. So <laughs> you you don't probably want to play this game unless you're a real, real you know gambler out there. Um, now uh, we'll take a quick look at uh, Pancake Swap. So there, you know, there's nothing wrong with Pancake Swap. Uh, they still have great pools. Uh, they have the only place that you can come. They just did another token launch here with uh, with uh, the Watch Pool, and they have uh, the, this TTP pool that just came out. They have these Bell pools. They keep launching these. So having a big uh, stack of Cake tokens is a smart thing to do. The only thing is, is I was trying to earn more cake tokens and I, I just want to get a bigger stack of them. And so that's why I'm using auto farm because see here we have an APR of 132%. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what it is if you're doing staking your cake to earn cake. And if you're on auto farm and you stake your cake to earn cake, you are at 274%. And so I have my little stack of 55 cakes that are just going up, 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 up. And hopefully, you know, that'll just... I, I'm not really worried about cakes um, going up and down. I just want to earn more cake. And when it gets down low enough, buy more cake because I like cake a lot. This is me. I think that their platform is great. And eventually I want to play around in these IFOs. This is the one they just did. And once again, they launched a token here. It was oversubscribed by like 700,000% or whatever. 71. Yeah, seven, no, 71,188%, so 71,000%. So basically, you, you know, if you thought you were going to get uh, 10 uh, watch tokens from how much money you put in and how much they cost, well, unfortunately, you got a, a big old refund and like a, a handful of the watch tokens. Instead of 10, you got three because it was oversubscribed by so much, or maybe it's even less than that. So you'd have to put, so basically the game with these is if you have a huge stack of money, you just throw that huge stack of money at them. And then eventually you get back a lot of that stack of money and uh, uh, some part of the tokens that are available in the sale. There is a little bit of danger in there um, because if you uh, are wrong and there's a bad project in here uh, later on in the day, later on in the, the course of this, and you're the only one that threw a large amount of money in there, then you won't get anything back and you'll just get a whole bunch of these tokens that aren't worth anything. So, you know, you still got to know if the project is cool. Yield Watch, as you know, is the one where you can go and you can look into the farms. They're, they're tracking a lot of farms and they decided to list their own token because they're going to do more with their site. They're a pretty cool project for you to check out. Uh, you know, they've got their lottery running. They have their NFT marketplace that they need to really do more at because right now you can't get any of these. Um, they're just kind of showing off these. So I'd like to see some more details here with what they're going to do and that get going. Um, but their farms are, you know, they're here, they're stable. It's a safer site than any of the other ones out there, probably besides maybe bakery as it's the number one one out there. And so these ones are all, you know, you can check them out. They get the new tokens quicker. They get new liquidity pools quicker. 
I mean, it's just a real solid site uh, to be on, to check out uh, and everything. I'm just not currently staking anything here because I'm chasing bigger gains. And I'm going to end the video, and this is kind of uh, going to be a quick little look at a new site called Iron Financing. I'll have a link to this for anybody that wants to skip to it. But basically, this just came out. Um, they have about 14 million locked up, and they only launched this morning uh, at midnight. So you'll see this is a token that they have pegged to pretty much a dollar. You're going to have a little bit of loss when you mint this token. And then they have the silver token, which went on that went on just a wild ride. And the reason why this one I don't expect to hold a lot of value is because it doesn't have another use case yet. I'm going to go through their white paper uh, our, and their docs and see what it is they plan to do. But to get into this one and maybe make a little bit of money, all you have to do is come with some BUSD. So I, I need to get a little BUSD. You, you're you able to convert it to iron. So you give them one BUSD, you get almost an iron there. When you're done, you can come here and if you had one iron, you would get almost a BUSD. You see, they make a little bit of money off of the minting, right? Because you get a little bit less than a dollar. And then if I came here and I had 0.99, I'd only get back, oops, that's 99, 0.99. I'd only get back 98 cents, so I lost two cents. Not hard to make up a loss of two cents, but you lose two cents. So anybody that wants to get the iron token this way has to come over here and do this minting to mint that token. Why would you do that, you say? Well, because they have a pool where you can do BUSD and iron. It pays out at 2,000% uh, APY where you earn this SL, SIL token that is currently sitting at about $34 and this is where almost all of their liquidity is locked look 12 million of the 14 million because this is relatively safe um, you can make the SIL token you can sell it for a, a few BUSD and then that, that'll cover your losses and the fact that you did the little switch and you don't have to worry about really in permanent loss here because you're always going to be able to um, swap out those irons for the BUSDs. Um, it's a, it's a, it's kind of similar to how, you know, sites that issue die and things like that. Um, and then they have two very, very high pools for the SIL token. The SIL token is, is uh, dropped all the way down to like $30. So at this point I might just buy like two of these tokens and then stake into this pool and see if I can't farm a couple of them at this 41%. And then get sell them back to get my BNB back. It's kind of an interesting thing. I could also maybe just uh, do go into this one. Might be a little bit less dangerous, where you could just buy a SIL token and uh, swap some BUSD into into iron, and the your your loss would be only in dollars, so it'd be a little bit easier to calculate, and you wouldn't have to worry about BNB doubling in the next few days and totally ruining your investment over here. And this percentage is just as high. 38%. I mean, this one's a little bit higher, but this one's pretty high too. But as you can see, that's probably why this one has a million. This one has 12 million and this one has 700,000. Eventually some people are going to catch on to this, but the SIL token, I, I really expect this to just go down in value, except for as people maybe find these pools at 40,000% and want to try to get in and earn some more. So I'll, I'll let you know if I find out anything more about this one. I will have a link to the site. It won't be a referral site link because I don't think they have a referral program. Yeah, no, they see there's their docs. Um, but it's just, a, it's an interesting new site that just came up. Uh, the reason I found out about it was from a group I'm in where they said that this one is kind of uh, connected to the value DeFi team. And these, this team is supposed to be more legitimate than some of the other teams out there. They do have a really polished looking website. So it's something interesting to get into. I'll just end you with that one new project. I hope you liked my little quick recap video and I'll be back again soon. Let me know anything you guys wanna see or uh, in the next few days. I am gonna be doing some more of my game posts, my Splinterland stuff and my uh, stuff on Mirandis. And uh, I'm gonna get back into Townstar this next, next week since I'm working it from home and I can actually try to play. I couldn't play last week with being in the office. And I'm just having a great time, everyone. Uh, crypto is kind of fun right now. There's some up and down, but it's, it's nice to be able to play in the DeFi world. Thank you again to my new subscribers, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.